Hi there, Julia here from the Curly Girl Creates. Today I'm going to show you how to make this guy here with this style skirt. You're gonna start with um, the shoes, which I have already made and it's in another video of mine. You can find it on YouTube, how to make gnome shoes. You will need two, um, actually one dowel, I cut it in half, or you can use two small dowels. You'll need large crew socks. I used black for this, um, for this guy. Uh, you will need a styrofoam ball, which is 4.7 inches. You will need a piece of fabric, uh, a, a pretty heavy piece of fabric, and you need to cut it um, 20 inches by five inches and you're gonna hem it along one of, the, one of the sides, the long side. You will need socks for the arms, which I already made the arms just to save time. Uh, you will need pantyhose. Um, I use these disposable socks. Uh, you can buy them, uh, I buy them from Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in uh, the description below. Um, uh, you will need fiber fill, uh, faux fur, You'll need felt for the hat, which I've already made the hat and I will give you uh, the dimensions. Uh, and you will need a styrofoam cone. My cone that I use is 2.9 inches by 5.8 inches. So let's get started. You start, uh, heat up your glue gun. You're gonna start with the shoes and the body. So you take your one crew sock and you're gonna slide it over your ball. And you want to slide it to a point because you're going to make your pant legs from the bottom. And you want so you want to make sure that your pants are in the center of your ball. So try to just finagle it so that happens. Okay, at this point, you can either <clears throat> cut this or you could just lay it over and glue it. I just lay it over and glue it. It's just easier. So to make the legs, you want to cut down the center here. You cut down the center. Okay, you're going to put your... Sticks in for the legs. Make sure they're even. Make sure that's where you want them to go in your shoe. See, that's not going to meet the bottom of the shoe. I have to move this over a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, you wanna make sure that they're even. And you are going to glue them. Now you want to glue your pants together. Just take your glue gun and glue the inside of your pants.
so it will end up like that. Now you're going to take your dowels and you're going to, inside the shoe I have a styrofoam piece that my dowels are going to stick into and then I'm going to glue it. to the styrofoam. Same thing on the other side. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna fill my shoe with rice to give it weight so that your gnome doesn't topple over. Fill it a little bit with rice. And you're going to glue the rice into the shoe. You will see that in my video. Okay. And then just fix the pant leg. So it covers the rice. Do the same thing on the other side. And there, so you have the pants. You have the body of the gnome. Okay, this part we're just gonna glue down. Okay, now we're ready to make the skirt. So you're gonna take your fabric, and like I said, you're gonna run a hem along the long side on one side, and you're gonna base stitch the top. The fabric I'm using is a very um, coarse fabric. It's actually upholstery fabric. Um, and this works nice for this type of um, dressing because it's, it's stiff enough and it won't gather. It ends up being round like that.
Okay, and then you just want to pull it. where it fits. Okay, you want the black to be there, so you want to keep pulling it until it all comes together. Kind of like that. Okay, I like that. And you're going to tie it off here. I actually want that to be at the back. I want this part to be. Just knot that. Okay. Okay, and at the back, you want to just make a seam and glue it closed. Can you see what I'm doing here? Just glue that closed. Okay. Then you want to glue the skirt to the sock. So we have the skirt. At this point, you want to put your arms on. Now, I've already made the arms. What I do is I take a sock and I cut it about here, cut it in half, and then I put the right sides together and sew it. You could also glue it if you don't have a sewing machine. Uh, and then I turn them right side out and that's my arm. So I measure how long I want it to be. So I want it to come about here. So I just put, roll that back in. Like that. I'll do the same thing for the other arm so that it is even. Okay. Then you want to stuff them with a little bit of fiber fill. So we add some body to it and just roll it out so it is even. This point you're going to make your hands. So I make my hands using these pantyhose. 
make the nose the same way. The hands obviously are gonna be a little bit smaller, so I take just a little piece of fiber fill and I put it in the sock. Put it in the middle of the sock. Take the ends and tie them. Tie it real tight so that they're small little hands. Okay, do the same thing for the other hand. Take a little piece of fiber fill. tight. Make sure they're the same. And then you're going to cut the excess. And we're going to glue it inside the arm like that. So just put a little glue inside there. And lay your hand in like that. And there's your arm and hand. Okay, at this point, you want to glue them on. And I think. That should be good right there. Okay, all right, at this point, we're gonna put the beard and the nose on. So this is my beard, I already cut it out. And I'm gonna give this guy some hair that will stick out the back. So let's put the beard on first. I think he will go there. Actually, let me make my nose first here. Take the sock. And this is a nice way to make the nose because you can make it as big as or as small as you want. I like them a little big and I don't like them so round. You could use a wooden ball, but it's to me, it's so round. I like a, an oblong nose. Take it and tie it. Tie it into the shape that you want. That looks good. Cut off the excess. Okay, so my beard will go here. My nose will go probably about there because my hat will go right there. So maybe my nose will go up a little higher with my beard. I want my hat to sit like that. So my nose would have to be like that and my beard will be up there. Okay, so we are going to attach the beard.
attach the nose. And then we're going to add the hair and put it around like that. We're going to go around. And this will all be under At this point, we are going to stick a dowel inside the center. attach your cone. Okay. And now your hat will go on. Now the hat, I always use a template. All, all I did was I drew a little triangle with kind of a rounded top. My measurements are at the base, it's six inches. The middle 
is four and three quarters and the tip of it is about a, an inch and a half um, and that's really my template it's no no big thing and I cut two pieces of felt and I sew the sides and just cut the bottom and that's my hat and at this point if you want to embellish your hat Actually, you want to glue your hat to the body so it doesn't come off. Okay, you want to start with the nose. And now you can make a design, do whatever you want with your hat. Um, do that and tie it in the back. And there is your gnome. Okay? If you have any questions, just send me a message. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a link below uh, which describes everything that I used. Um, happy gnoming. Bye.